there you are. Tim here, HBP Exotics. And uh, just wanted to show you guys a little video. Um, it's all about the Orange Blossom project we got going on. And uh, thanks to Colin over at the Reptile Barn, he was kind enough to send us a clip of the two that he has up there that we sent him. And it's a male and female. So we will see that and compare it to what we have here. Um, after that, I will show you guys the babies of last year and that way you guys can see the resemblance and the difference between the orange blossom project. All right, see you guys in a minute. All right guys, so this is Opie and he is the father of what we're calling the orange blossom clutch. Now as you can tell, he's pretty much a normal real light, you know, got some awesome pattern, you know, nothing real special with him, um, you know, just some light tans and, you know, some dark browns and some white, uh, there's nothing too special with him, uh, when I got him, you know, I got him from a local pet store, as a trade, and he was originally a teacher's pet. And so, um, back in 2017, um, I bred him to a normal female, and uh, we had a 4A clutch. I will show you guys the mom here so you guys can see what she looks like. So let me go ahead and grab her. This girl here is Kissy. She is the one that produced the 4A clutch back in 2017. She also produced a clutch for us last year and I will show you the babies on those. She does have a little stuck shed. But same thing. As you can tell, um, she is pretty much a normal. Um, you know, same thing. She's got, you know, some blushing, a little bit of color, but you know, she's got some light brown, you know, a lot of darks. You know, nothing too special about her just that she's a really pretty normal. Now, so what was weird is I put her and Opie together and we produced a pretty wild clutch. So let me get Peach real quick and I'll show you her. All right, so here is Peach next to Mom. As you can tell, she's got more spots, more pattern, and a lot more color than mom and dad. So, as you can tell, I decided to put mom back. Um, having the two of them out was a little difficult. So back to Peach. Comparison. And you can tell she's got a lot more color on the lower half of her. And all throughout her body. Gotta show you the light here. Um, just so you guys can see the difference in what we produced in 2017. Now, Colin was kind enough to send me a video of her siblings that we sent up to him um, in a trade. And that way you guys can kind of see the difference between her and her siblings. Um, 
after the clip, I'll show you the babies that we produced last year from a 6 8 clutch. And then you can see a little bit of a difference compared to her and what we're working with. Now we're hoping that by next year, she'll be big enough um, to breed. And then that way we can breed her back and hopefully proof this gene out um, and see what we get from it and then uh, go from there. So let me go ahead and show you guys a clip from Colin at the Reptile Barn. And then after that, I will show you guys the babies from last year. So give me one second and we'll roll that clip. This is Colin with, at the Reptile Barn. I just wanted to shoot this quick video for Tim at HBP uh, of the Orange Blossom Project animals that we picked up from him in a trade. Uh, this is the male here that uh, obviously has faded a little bit with age, but is, is much lighter and has more uh, yellow and orange tones, especially there on the sides. And here's the female, the sibling. Just looks like a normal to us. Uh, if it turned out to be recessive, obviously, there'd be a chance she was a het. Yeah, so there's not, uh, at this age, there's not a, a super striking difference in our male to the female. Although, obviously, you can you can all see the difference there still, but uh, when they were young, it was it was very evident. So yeah, just wanted to shoot this real quick, get a little bit of footage for Tim. There's the male again, orange blossom, and there is the normal or het female. This is the first baby from last year, part of a six eight clutch. So I just wanted to show you, as you can tell, there's a little bit of orange, crazy pattern, crazy belly. Little spots here and there. Back the tail. A lot of white. So this is the first baby. Okay, so let me grab the second one real quick. Here's baby two. This guy is, they're all from the same. So let me put the first one back. So this one here, is a little bit darker. Not a lot of color on top, like the first one I just showed you. But it has a lot of the orange color along the sides. Same thing, crazy belly pattern. This is baby number two. And here's number three. A little 
little bit lighter. A little bit more colors. A lot more orange on the side. Same crazy belly pattern. Here's number four. This is another male. I had four females and two males. So, same thing. A lot of the orange along the belly or the sides. You guys want to know what the first batch looked like that we hatched out in 2017? I will put a little bit, a little link up here so you can look at the video and you'll be able to see Peach when she was a baby, along with her siblings and the two that we sent to Colin up at the reptile barn. Now the video he you guys just saw that he sent those two are oh, coming up on two years so I mean you know big difference in two years these guys are coming up on a year in November so that's baby number four we'll grab me number five so here's number five. Now, this one's got a little more blushing, a little bit lighter. Same orange along the sides all the way down along with the crazy pattern the same crazy belly and even on this side a lot of orange This one's got a lot more blushing. Now this one's a female. So let me show you the last one. This one's number six. Same thing. A little bit lighter. Not a whole lot of blushing. Like the last one I just showed you. Same crazy belly. Then we got a lot of the orange color here. Open to breed peach and I'll get her again real quick just to show you guys and 
and this is Peach. Now she was the first one in 2017. So here we go with the, the orange color all the way through. Still has a crazy belly. We got color all the way. She's got more blushing throughout the dorsal. Now when she was born, if you guys go back to the video and see, like all this was bright orange. And then her blacks were dark. Like, she was like way different when she was a baby. So, well that wraps it up for this video. Uh, I just wanted to say thank you to Colin at the Reptile Barn. So make sure you guys go check him out and see what he's got going on. And uh, you know, we're hoping to get some, you know, prove this gene out. If we do, it'll be something new. Um, I'm hoping to breed this girl, hopefully end of this year, if not next, and uh, to prove her out and see if we get a super form which would be awesome. It'd be awesome to come out with a new gene. But yeah, so go check him out at the Reptile Barn. I'll put their info in the description. Make sure you subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Um, like it. Share it. And we are also starting on Patreon. I'll put that in the description too. So if you guys want to check us out over there, because um, we're going to be posting stuff over there that it's not going to be on YouTube. So, but yeah, check us out. And uh, like I said, give Colin, you know, at the Reptile Barn a follow. Go like their stuff. Awesome people. Very knowledgeable. And uh, yeah, until the next one, we'll see you guys later.